It's Christmas. It's Christmas. La, 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 la. Hey, Miss Andrea, what you doing? Uh, hi, Pastor Ken. Uh, well, I'm trying to come up with a Christmas wrap. Christmas wrap? Yeah. I mean, we started this new theme in kids' church today, and it's called Christmas wrap. So I thought I would write the kids a Christmas wrap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not rap as in like a rap song, R-A-P. It's Christmas wrap, like wrapping paper. Like you're oh, wrapping a present. Oh, oh, my goodness. I thought it was a wrap. Well, by the way, <laughs> what are you doing, Pastor Ken? Well... I've got the wrapping paper, uh -huh. and I've got the scissors, mm -hmm. and I need two things. What's that? Well, I need to find Miss Danielle's present because I bought it a little while ago, and I don't know what I did with it. Oh, what'd you get her? I can't tell you. <sighs> it's a surprise. Okay. And then I need to find some tape because oh, have you ever wrapped a present and you had to use tape? Well, I need tape. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I know where tape's at. You do? Yeah, and I could show you. And maybe along the way, we can like find Miss Danielle's present. Uh, that would be very helpful. Okay, but before we go, Pastor Ken, we have some praise and worship to do with you kids. It is Christmas time, and we're so excited. So get up on your feet, and let's worship, worship Jesus. All right, let's do it. But you were Bethlehem of Rapha, who were too little to be a, among the clans, among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me, one who, who is to be ruler, ruler in Israel. Who's coming forth is from old, from ancient, ancient days, oh, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people, the people of Israel. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord. In the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth.
Hi kids, I'm so excited about this month and about our new theme called the Christmas Wrap. This whole month, we're going to learn about the Christmas story and how it's wrapped around the birth of Jesus. You know, there's so many songs that we can sing throughout this month to celebrate Christmas. There's songs about reindeer and there's songs about snowmen. There's even songs about that big old jolly guy with a white beard. But did you know there's songs that celebrate Jesus and his birth? There's songs about the manger, and there's songs about that silent night when he was born. You know, Mary, she's Jesus' mom. When she found out that she was going to have a baby, that she was going to have Jesus, she sung a song. She was so excited. Well, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told Mary that she was going to have a baby that she was going to have Jesus. And after that, Mary went to see her cousin Elizabeth. And when she did, she sung a song. In Luke chapter 1, verse 46 through 47, it says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. That was the song that Mary sung. She was glorifying God that she was chosen to have Jesus. Jesus was going to be her son. And God had a purpose for Mary, and God has a purpose for you and for I. God has plans for us. So this Christmas season, let's glorify Him. And one way we can do that is by singing songs to praise Him. So this week, I want to encourage you to find someone in your family that will sing a Christmas song with you. Pick a song that will glorify Jesus. Until next time, I hope you have a great week. Christmas is when we celebrate God's fulfillment of a promise to send us a Savior. This gift wasn't a surprise, but something people had been waiting many years to receive. The promise of Christmas began with a man named Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would have a descendant and that this descendant would be a blessing to all the nations. When the Apostle Matthew wrote the story of Jesus' life, he said that Jesus was the son of Abraham. Not only did Matthew say Jesus was a descendant of Abraham, he also said that he was a descendant of King David. Many years before Jesus' birth, the prophet Isaiah promised that Jesus would reign on David's throne. However, unlike any king or other political leader, Jesus would rule with justice and righteousness forever. The prophet Micah foretold that Jesus would be born in the small town of Bethlehem. Micah said that even though Bethlehem was small, the child born there would rule over all of Israel. This ruler, though not yet born, would come from ancient origins. The prophet Isaiah had a lot to say about Jesus' birth. God told him that the promised Messiah would be born in the most miraculous way. He would be born to a virgin through the power of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah said that Jesus would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Isaiah went on to tell us more about this Emmanuel and the greatness that was to come. The Savior would be called Wonderful Counselor, the source of all wisdom, Mighty God, the Creator of all things, Everlasting Father, the source of all life, and Prince of Peace, the one who will make all things right. Unfortunately, not all the prophets had good news about how the Savior's life would play out. Some people would reject him. The prophet Jeremiah said that Jesus' life would be in danger when he was born. And the prophet Hosea said 
that Jesus and his family would have to flee to Egypt for a time to escape the murderous plots against him. Jesus' birth and life fulfilled all of these prophecies, as well as the most incredible one of all. The prophet Isaiah said that Jesus would be a servant who would suffer for the sins of the world. He would give his life so that anyone who believes in him could be saved from sin. At Christmas, we celebrate the promised gift of salvation given to us by God through the sacrifice of his Son, Jesus Christ.